All right, today we're going to talk about smoky quartz. Smoky quartz. And I think the first thing we need to do before I get into metaphysical properties and all that fun stuff, smoky quartz, it gets a little confusing. Now, why does it get confusing? The main reason is there's so many different types of smoky quartz out there. You could go to a crystal shop and you're going to see smoky quartz ranging from crystal clear looking where it's barely visible, where it's just like a hint of smoke, like a, a grayish tint to it, similar to the one I'm holding here. Um, and then there's other times where you're going to go and see them vary all the way to a, just a solid black color. Now, what gets confusing with smoky quartz is a lot of people don't realize that some of the smoky quartz is irradiated. And when I say irradiated, it is treated with gamma rays now again i don't i don't know exactly what gamma rays are the only thing i know with gamma rays is i think they use that to turn the hulk into the hulk <laughs> that's how bruce banner became the hulk that's my extent of gamma rays uh but whatever they do they treat it um to a point where they take a actual clear piece of quartz not like this this is an actual authentic smoky quartz but they will take a crystal clear piece of quartz and then they will turn it into this and this is irradiated quartz now usually irradiated smoky quartz when you find this in the crystal shops it's going to be pure black See how this is just completely jet black? This is irradiated. Um, this was definitely treated with gamma radiation or however they do it. Um, whatever the process may be. This was at one point a clear piece of quartz. Nothing more. And then they used it gamma rays and turned it into this. Now, with that being said... I know it gets confusing and you're probably thinking, uh-oh, is there certain ones that are better, worse? What do I buy? Was I scammed? Blah, 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 blah. Um, honestly, you could use either one. In, in, in terms of the treating of it where it turns, when they irradiate it, both are going to give you great benefits. So you don't have to be that concerned if you picked up a piece of smoky quartz because honestly, the irradiated stuff can get pretty expensive. Um, but a lot of people pass off the irradiated as natural. And yes, the thing is, it is natural. It's a natural quartz crystal, but it was treated. This is... Now, hang on a second. This one is a natural crystal you could tell by looking at all the rough spots everything this came right out of the ground this wasn't polished this wasn't cut anything crazy like that this was a natural quartz point that came out of the ground and then they treated it with the gamma radiation and irradiated it so it's jet black this one is cut and polished but it's natural smoky quartz so i know it gets confusing but the thing is no matter really what you pick up if you get the irradiated whether you get the um natural both are going to have great benefits and i'm going to about i'm going to go over those right now so what is smoky quartz going to do for you so the best thing Everybody should have smoky quartz in their tool bag, so to speak. If you have limited crystals, 
this is one of them. Definitely. Whether it's irradiated, whether it's natural, whatever the case may be, you're going to want smoky quartz in your tool bag. Even if you have 10 crystals, this should be one of them. Smoky quartz is a grounding crystal. And it is an amazing transmuter of energy. And what I mean, what I mean by that is this is going to filter in any energy that's coming into it. It's going to suck it up and release it. And when it comes out, it's going to be positive energy. So it's going to take all the negative energy, anything that's around you, whether it be from another person, whether it be from electronic devices, um, uh, that's a, a little bit off topic, but I'll get to that in a minute. But let's stick to just plain old negative energy. You're, you're at work all day, and how many times do you have somebody that is just a constant complainer, and everything is negative? And a lot of times, that energy, if you're not in the best state of mind, it can penetrate you your energy body and start to bring you down and you're going to start to think like the the person that's spewing out all this negativity and eventually it's going to just soak up in your energy body you're going to carry it with you you're going to take it home with you and it's going to be stuck to you this right here is going to take that energy it's going to filter it i look at smoky quartz as a filter if there's one word that i could associate with smoky quartz it's a filter think of it like a filter that's what i do it's going to bring in that negative energy and when it comes out the other side it's going to be positive it's gonna now it may not necessarily be positive but it's, it's going to neutralize it it's going to definitely neutralize it and make it so it's not good or bad or whatever the case may be but it's going to get rid of that negative energy so now when what's the difference can i use this as a smoky quartz to do the same thing absolutely irradiated versus natural here's the difference in my opinion and it might surprise you irradiated is stronger it is more of a stronger, more potent effect. Now, sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's bad. But if you're looking for potency, where you want to clean up that gunk, clean up that junk, get all that negative energy, all that stuff, and just transmute it, you could use either one. Irradiated is going to do it more effectively. It's, it's stronger. It's a stronger vibration to it. Um, you could use either or, though. A lot of people, of course, are going to argue and say natural is the way to go. In a way, I would agree. If you work with natural more, yes, it's going to be more of a, uh, a finer energy where it's still going to do the same thing. It might be better in the long run if you're working with uh, to heal but if you want to get rid of negative energy and transmute it pretty quickly, either will work. And irradiated is a little bit, it's got a little bit more of a punch. So both are great. So if you have this and you're thinking at the beginning of the video, oh no, did I get ripped off? No, actually you got yourself a pretty powerful crystal. They're, they're both awesome. It's, it's all, again, it's all quartz. It's all the same stuff, but smoky think of it as a filter that is the best way now what else can this do for me, for you in terms of taking that negative energy and transmuting it and turning it into a neutral or a positive energy there is also it's going to protect you from electromagnetic stuff Stuff that your phone spews out all day. Stuff that your computers spew out all day. I mean, we are constantly, constantly around all this type of technology. And this is a, a cluster, also irradiated, 
jet black crystals or the, it's the it's kind of easy to see it if it's irradiated or not but all that electromagnetic frequency that's that's smashing off you and it's all over the house if you keep whether it be on your person or throughout your home i would recommend putting some smoky quartz or keeping it near you keep it near a place where you're sitting if you're in the den or the basement a lot or your room keep one near your bed very good to have around to just transmute that energy and that's all it does now this is a, it's obviously quartz what would you do in terms of cleansing it i would cleanse this absolutely you don't have to do it constantly but if you're gonna pick up some smoky quartz definitely cleanse it if you're gonna work with it cleanse it if it's sitting around your house long enough you're gonna want to cleanse it um and get all the the stuff that's stuck to it because it it is one of those crystals where it's not going to hold the energy like a, a pure clear quartz would. It is going to definitely get rid of the energy, but I would still I would still cleanse it. And you don't have to do it constantly, but I still would do it. You don't really have to charge smoky quartz, but I would give it a, a cleanse once in a while. Um, but n unlike a, a clear quartz... The negative stuff isn't really going to stick to it because it's going to be transmuted. So that's kind of good. But still, I, I call me crazy. I, I like to cleanse my smoky quartz once in a while, especially if it's near your bed or near you quite a bit or on your person. So this is, and this is a beautiful one, beautiful cluster. So what else can we do? Here's another one. A lot of people don't realize there are oh boy a lot of negative entities now when i say negative entity you're gonna go right to you know a demon uh, a goblin uh, you know some kind of uh ghost this is great for getting rid of paranormal stuff that's stuck to you now not everybody has some kind of crazy astral demon connected to their energy body but what you don't know is between our world in the physical world we're in and the astral plane, which is just right between, it's right next in line, mirroring our current world, there are little beasties out there and they're all over the place. And you can look this up, that's a whole other video, but little... Think of it like bugs when you're out in the woods and you get a tick on you. I mean, these little entities are going to stick to your astral body. And a lot of times they get there. You, obviously, you can't see them. You don't know they're there. Then a lot of these things can cause problems. They could cause the diseases over time. Sometimes they hang on for a long time. Other times they're only there for a little bit. Smoky quartz, they're like little astral parasites. Think of them like that. And little astral vampire type things where they're going to just stick to you and slowly drain your energy and they're out there and you can pick them up who knows anywhere you go it, um so the thing is this is perfect for that smoky quartz is a filter it's going to filter out it's going to get rid of all that junk and it's perfect for those paranormal little entities just getting rid of all that junk any of that kind of stuff. Um, definitely, in terms of physical stuff, this is a root chakra stone. This is going to connect you to the base, to the earth. You want to work with this in terms of, in terms of a chakra root, a hundred percent. Smoky quartz is a root chakra stone. Work with it on the lower chakras, down to the root. But anything that you start in anything, you want to start with the root chakra. You never just want to grab yourself some amethyst or high vibrational crystals and just start working with your crown chakra, your, your third eye. Everybody wants to go right for that stuff. 
most of the illnesses and all that kind of stuff, you got to start from ground up. You got to start with that root chakra. If that has issues and it's not drawn in enough ener universal energy, you're going to have all kinds of problems. And if you don't clear that number one, right out of the gate, you're, you're going to have issues. So definitely when you work with smoky quartz, it's a root chakra stone. Work with it to clear that root chakra, to balance it, to transmute all that energy, get all that, all those little astral parasites off you and just transmute into better energy that you could use for good things. So one more thing, well, a couple more things. It's great for lower body issues. Whenever you're working with smoky quartz, when I say root chakra stuff, that's associated with your bowels, your liver, your uh, digestion, all that stuff. And if any of that is sluggish, this is a perfect stone to work with because it's going to help the root chakra. And I don't want to overstress it, but this is what you need right here. If I mean, of, there's obviously other crystals that are going to uh, help with root chakra stuff, but this one is a filter. Think of it as a filter. That's the best way. Um, one more thing. The uh, A lot of people get road rage. This is perfect to keep in your car. And you could be the nicest person in the world. And suddenly those demons come out when you're in the car. And all that negative energy just spews forth. And suddenly you're an entirely different person screaming at somebody out the window. We don't know why it happens, but keep a piece of smoky quartz in your car and you'll see that greatly diminished or be non-existent. It's a great road rage crystal. I just wanted to mention that because just keeping a little piece will help. A lot of people keep it in their car specifically for that reason. So it's great for that. Um, one more thing here. When I, we were talking about it in the beginning, irradiated has that jet black. Now, here, here's something. I don't want to throw you guys a curveball. However, look at this guy. This is completely natural. This is not irradiated. This is a Lemurian from Tibet. And this is... The only reason I wanted to show you that is... This is not a cheap crystal, and it's a beautiful crystal. But if you go to the store, um, if you're starting to look at this and you're thinking, oh, it's obviously irradiated because it's jet black. However, this is not. So you really need to be mindful when purchasing smoky quartz. The best thing you could do, talk to the person that runs the shop or selling them online. Um, just try to get your information straight because something like this, they're out there and they're they're not cheap. If you Google um, Smoky Quartz and look for these, some crystals like this could be thousands of dollars. And I'm not saying this one was thousands of dollars, but it, you just got to be careful. But again, you're still going to get awesome benefits from either the natural or the irradiated. So either way, it's awesome stuff. Definitely keep it in your tool bag and treat it and use it a lot because it's going to help benefit you on so many different levels. And it's one of those where you want to start from the ground up, work with smoky quartz. All right. We'll see you guys next time.